Hello guys and welcome to a new video about my GBA SP or GBA Pi, I mean not the SP. So um, I finally made a follow-up video and as you can see it vast, looks vastly different than the version before because the version before was the purple? I don't know, purple I guess. Or violet. Uh, the purple version of the case because I used replacement case and now I have a transparent one and the reason for that is with this one I accidentally messed up the d-pad and can just pull it apart a second so you can see I made a lot of um, changes there and uh, like drilled away a lot of plastic and that messed up the d-pad I often had like a accidentally so a accidental um, Diagonal, so I couldn't just walk forward. I often just slide to the right and left diagonally, and that really messed up the gameplay and often made me just don't use it, which I really hated because I wanted to make it to play with it, and I didn't just because of this those issues, and so I decided to just take the case and. Whoop. <laughs> so now I have the transparent one. I made some other changes with first this one before I made the huge change. The main one is I uh, changed the way the audio works. Before I had a uh, USB, uh, USB sound card that used a, um, used a am amplifier um, uh, or analog and I had a USB um, hub between it to still have a USB port like this which still works but now I changed to I2S sound which if you can see also transparent rec back looks awesome I think. You have uh, there you see the purple PCB that's the uh, I2C amplifier which also caused a side effect which I now have to lift it but isn't really that uh, bad. I don't have a working headphone jack anymore. I have a headphone jack but it's just like it looks good but it, it's not working just for it to don't be a, just a hole. And the reason for that is simply that the I2C is uh, sound board here is an amplifier, so the output is already amplified. But that made it uh, that enabled me to completely shut off interference, which I uh, had through the sound card and the amplifier combo, which with this one, as I said, is completely gone, and also freed up space because I were able was able to remove the USB hub. So as you can see, there's a lot less inside of there. I only have now the uh, the Raspberry Pi. I have, uh, if you can see it, like PCBs for the buttons. So I have perfect uh, the rubber. It's like a new or real GBA. Uh, as I said, the D-pad is now fixed buttons right here and still the X and Y buttons up here because some games still you, uh, need them like um, SNES or I also are able to play PlayStation 1 games because this is a Raspberry Pi Zero 2. So and also a small thing I changed because the buttons here for the Sun Select were just tactile push buttons like the one down here. But they were recessed, so it was really hard to push them. In with this case, I now have like these buttons that come out, and also not like the original one where they're just rubber rubber dome pieces up to the top. They are still rubber pieces, uh, rubber buttons like um, in the D-pad and the buttons here, but have a plastic piece like the A and B buttons. So it feel really feels high quality, and yeah, and also high quality. This piece here which was here, just a plastic thing now, is out of glass. So if I just take something out of metal uh, here like this, here that is now glass, which means no scratches, has obviously the possibility to break, but just don't throw it around. But with this one, I, I always kept the plastic protector on because I feared that I made scratches in there, but with this one, I can't. And also I love how the Game Boy logo reflects with this one. It's just it's just metal and you look you see like the, the um, black outline which also doesn't look good because it's not black around it's like 
darkish gray and so on with this i have truly a black corner and this amazing <laughs> logo and yeah the speaker i used also the speaker i also changed because the one i used was out of a ps3 a ps4 controller which wasn't the best for sound quality which, because it was a, was just too small with the ampli with the i square s uh, amplifier here and now i changed to the uh, gba sp um speaker because i still had it from the first iterations i had to this project and yeah let's just turn it on just turns on because i have uh show you i have this just not too visible i showed i will show you to it later it's like a, um wait a second i can just post the video so uh i just got this here this is the board i use oh bit focus so you see there is the ic and you have those uh, six connections, one for two for battery, two for input, two for output. And huh? amazing uh, splash scene. So you have one for input, so for charging, one for output, for the usage. And what's cool about this board is it has two fe key features I needed. It has a uh, indicator, battery, as uh, a so level indicator. So I can just see, ah, uh, I have like half battery left, 25% left, etc. And it automatically activates when there is an uh, something that uses power, draws power like the GBA. So I just have a switch that goes on, connects it with the Raspberry Pi, and it instantly turns on and boosts the voltage to five volts. It also can supply up to like three amps or so. I only need like a half, but still uh, still impressive. And what about that? I still have the one thousand milliamp battery, which I had for a time with a connector connected but the connector failed so i now just have metal pieces inside the connector of the battery but still works perfectly the buttons are perfectly no problems so i just can get like here playstation for some i don't know here grand turismo to so show some gameplay while it is loading i can quickly just show you my all iterations so as i said i had this one which was my main piece which i had a lot of working prototypes but yeah, as I said, it is not far better. I also had like this was the backplate for the batteries, which had the charging plug attached, but because it was, was low quality, you can see it has a, had a lot of wiggle room, which I really hated. I had some uh, tests with the hole right here. As you can see, with the new version, I put it not on the flat uh, on the battery cover, but beneath it, which does cover the screw that connects right here so all every time i may have to need to need to uh, open it up i would need to remove the usb jack which i secured with hot glue so it's a bit of a um, nuisance but yeah. it looks far better yeah, skip that so yeah this was my main working prototype the um which i did was i took this with the board and placed it right so like there beneath the um, hole here for the power, so I can always see like ah, uh, it's if it's bright, if it's lighting, I have power. It's turned on. If it's blinking, I it's near like only ten minutes left before it shut out, shuts off. But with this version, because it's transparent, I have the ability to just look down in the hole here and can see ah, uh, hundred percent, seventy five percent, fifty or twenty one, uh, twenty five, and blinking nearly empty and I also I have the ability to see like the green LED right here that is for the um, Raspberry Pi itself so I can see ah it is, is it still on after it, I turn it off turn it off it still has like um, 25 seconds and uh, 25 like five seconds of working I don't want to shut it off while it's still on so I just look ah it's not off and now I can shut off power to the Pi because it's not a GBA I need to um, shut it off not just disconnect power yeah, there are not really any changes left that I did. The but uh, the buttons uh, are still programmed via GPIO and X, with uh, uh, which also use the buttons. But the code for them are, is different because the um, the I square C card I have uh, the I square S card I have in there is a bit different in the way the program handles it. So I changed it to. Um, not change the volume of the USB card because the I2S card doesn't have its own volume so I need to 
change the volume in the also mix software before but I maybe also uh, will pu uh, put the command beneath the in the video description so if you followed up the project or have something similar you know how to change it the installation I will also put a link into the Adafruit guide which is <laughs> surprisingly like the only one out there mainly and it does work but the problem I faced is is that I had no sound output because it couldn't just for some reason couldn't find the card and which wa what was the fix for me is just completely reinstalling the whole um, OS so I needed to start completely from the start put new repertoire prior distro on there install GPIO next the display driver etc etc I was able to like recover the um, save files and so from the old, old SD card, but be mindful if you have any problems with the i square s chip, just try a fresh install and hopefully it works. So like I can start another round. <laughs> Bit louder. Also, uh, where um, thought to leave the buttons at gray, so I have like transparent body but gray buttons, but it didn't work because oh, it, it would have worked, but also I um, modded them a bit so they didn't look anymore uh, that good anymore and didn't fit re really smoothly in here because, as I said, they were low quality, so badly um, produced, and also, as I said, the start and stop, uh, start and select buttons are changed and I have like now this uh, whole plastic body and I didn't have them and so all the buttons would have been grey except the start and select buttons so I just decided to not do it and as you can see I have no problems running uh, PS1 games I don't have the... Um, let's stop it, stop it, I don't have the... Um, I don't have an exact idea of how many FPS I'm getting with PlayStation games. I could uh, could maybe change the display driver again and just test it. But right now I don't have a uh, have a change one, so I just leave it be. And yeah, that's how far the project changed, which is a, which is a lot. And also I didn't like here's the um, sticker. I have a one. But I didn't decide. To, I decided to not put it. Uh, decided to not put it on there because I think it's just amazing how you can see the whole Raspberry Pi like neatly tucked in there, and covering up this uh, much space would really, I think, mutter, mutt, yeah, mutter, really make it not that good looking. And also, I had to drill, uh, cut off me even more of the GBA cards replacement thing I talk uh, about to help cover up the space because I didn't want anything to be look like also so I had like this uh, bar from the card that would cover the rest of pie and it just moved so you have nearly nothing of it seeing except for the parts that are out of it so the, a lot of things here are just for looks like this the card the um, headphone jack and so but it works great, and yeah, that's how far I got. Can just show you for a second the prototypes I had. So this is the newest. This was oh, the one before, falling apart already. The one SP and the first SP. <laughs> for you ask for the holes, I made this one working, which was working because I used the. Um, car um, um, reverse camera like those cars for reverse driving and um, those displays are analog so I could easily connect it to the Raspberry Pi but the problem was the control board had like capacitors and uh, coils poking out so I had this inductors I had to drill holes here I think those were the original ones the other holes are there because I wanted to test drilling because the holes here were really bad and I just wanted to test different types of drills and different methods of drilling to be sure for the next version with I then, which I then bought to make sure those holes were perfectly good looking which they were, I have to say, okay, so they really look good they have the chamfered around because I wanted to have them for them to be comfortable and easy to press, not like the sharp corner and all the buttons do work except for the B button right here and I thought this D-pad works. The idea with this one was I made like my own PCB 
as you can see those are the like um, prototype PCBs and my idea was to just put my own uh, traces on there with connection and wires and solder. It technically worked, I had a uh, half working prototype, the only problem was as you can see there's like really no space and if you just compare it's like the same thickness as a um, GB, uh, as a normal GBA but it's like double the size so with the GBA, normal GBA had far less problems with space so yeah this is <laughs> the display of this project started in like October of 2020 which is ridiculously I nearly t it took like uh, three and a half years for it to my in my opinion finally be finished maybe change uh, uh, may be changed again but this is how it looks now maybe may make like a retrospective I don't know but yeah thanks for watching and ciao